and we're live. So welcome everybody, what an absolutely incredible two days it's been. And Wendy and I would like to wrap up this conference with the BAPM Awards. And these awards, the inaugural award ceremony of the Gopi Menon Awards. And I joined BAPM three years ago uh, onto the executive committee. And it was an absolute privilege and an honor to get to work alongside Gopi, an incredible man. I learned so much from him. He was so much fun. And we were just reflecting on the fact that it's been really wonderful to see throughout the past two days how, um, how often people have been referencing the work of the Baton Quality Collaborative. And that was really Gopi's legacy. He was a driving force behind that quality work and it's been fantastic to see. So I'm Sarah Bates, I'm a neonatal consultant from Swindon and the Bapham Ellen Ewan SKU rep and I'm also joined by Wendy Tyler who's the Bapham treasurer who you heard from earlier today. We're also enormously blessed today to be joined by Gopi's family, to be joined by Val, Gopi's wife, and Natasha and Jessica, his daughters, and I'm going to hand over to them shortly. The award ceremony will progress with Wendy and I introducing each award, we have some videos from the shortlisted um, nominees and then we'll announce the winner. We're hoping to get the winner up on screen. So do bear with us with that. It's dependent on lots of technology, but all credit to Elise and the CFS team. They've done a fantastic job so far today. So do bear, bear with us um, while we try and make that work. And now I'll hand over to Val, Natasha and Jessica. Thank you, Sarah, for that great introduction. Um, I'm Natasha, um, one of Gopi's daughters, and uh, on behalf of myself, uh, my mom Val, and my sister Jessica, I'd um, just like to say uh, that we're really delighted to be here with you today um, in memory of my dad, Gopi. Uh, we're so honoured that dad is being remembered through these awards and that his legacy is living on in Bapham and in so many other ways. Um, Dad was really passionate about supporting the next generation of nurses, doctors and health professionals, um, fostering collabor collaboration and research and always making sure that families and babies were at the centre of his work. Um, we're so glad that to be able to sort of stay connected to the work that he did um, and so thankful for you to you for for including us in uh, in this and for all of the work that you are continuing to do for babies and families and um, we know that dad would be really thrilled about this and he'd be really proud so thank you very much. Thank you so much um, to, to all three of you. It's, it means the world to all of us to hear from you. And I think hearing about Gopi's legacy and his wishes for what we need to do as an organisation within BAPM will really drive us all forward um, to deliver that care that he wanted to see um, in the babies that we look after. So the first award is for improving quality in perinatal care. And what we'd like to do now is to show you a video from the shortlisted nominees in this category. At the Lancashire Women and Newborn Center, the team believes in a bundle approach to optimizing preterm care and a phased introduction of evidence-based high impact interventions from delivery room optimization to the NICU care keeping the family at the center. Our delivery room bundle consists of three main messages, wait before you clamp, think before you tube, and don't move till warm, outlining the importance of opt optimal cord management, peep for transition, and thermoregulation, which we have embedded through a multidisciplinary team approach. Thermoregulation has been emphasized through multiple QI projects like visual aid memoirs and posters. The EPR with live feeds on patient status enables remote monitoring and virtual ward rounds in the COVID times. We have outlined broad measures to minimize IVH, 
and early extubation to NIV as a BPD care bundle. And the practices are embedded through special simulation days called the neonatal resuscitation interest group, which also undertakes difficult airway training. We have upheld the family integrated care banner through use of technology like Recreate in trying to connect families in these difficult times and by involving parents in the care model. Thank you. I'm delighted that my colleague, Dr. Sudhoi Banerjee, has been shortlisted for improving quality in perinatal care. Sudhoi had a vision for neonatal antibiotic stewardship that has exploded. Driven by a VON initiative, choosing antibiotics wisely, he enthused the team and some unwitting parents to undertake PDSA cycles, resulting in an astounding 40% reduction in antibiotic use on our unit, which has been sustained over five years. Not content with this incredible achievement, he looked into early onset sepsis on the postnatal ward, considering the Kaiser Permanente Sepsis Risk Calculator, deviating from the NICE guideline. He applied this not only to our hospital, but the whole of Wales. Two scoping projects showing safety and potential benefits enabled Welsh Government backing. Over 12 months, the use of the sepsis risk calculator across Wales has achieved an incredible 45% mean reduction in antibiotic use with no evidence of harm. Thank you, Sue Joy, from all the babies in these studies and in the future for having the courage to believe and bring about change for the better. Our in-house neonatal simulation team at St Peter's Hospital has worked over the last five years jointly with maternity in a number of areas to improve our practice. Last year, our team focused on implementing physiologically delayed cord clamping using LifeStart for all our preterm deliveries. We did regular simulations for over six months to develop and deliver this project. Our algorithm incorporated delayed cord clamping alongside stabilisation of preterm infants using nasal high flow. It also facilitated a birthday cuddle for parents and their babies before admission to NICU. In this process, we designed clear roles and responsibilities for all team members, which helped to improve our communication and practice. This also included roles for midwife and theatre scrub nurse to facilitate delayed cord clamping. Additionally, we were able to introduce continuous temperature monitoring during stabilisation. Furthermore, we implemented regular theatre scrub training for all doctors. Thanks to our Little Roo Neonatal Fund for providing financial assistance towards the equipment costs and for developing training videos. Lovely seeing the videos from the uh, from the nominees. It's always great to learn and share practice. And I'm delighted to announce that the winner is Sujoy Banerjee. So just bear, bear with us. If we can't get Sujoy on screen, then we'll, we'll move on to the next category. Oh, hello. 
Hey, uh, I, I'm here representing uh, Dr. Banerjee. He's actually on um, transport for our chance um, transport team. So he's out. So he asked me to join him. I'm one of his senior a and and was heavily uh, took part in this huge project that he's done. So I will um, be honoured to accept his um, win um, on behalf of the Singleton unit. Thank you very much. I will let him know. Oh, amazing. Thanks ever so much for joining us. And Thank I'll you. Hand it over to Wendy for the next category. Hi. So the next category um, is the category of supporting the perinatal team award. And just before we start the video, I need to mention that the preterm delivery bundle was entered in this um, group as well. But the video has not been repeated, so we will we will show, share with you the remaining shortlisted entries. Thank you. It gives me immense pleasure to nominate the Wales Maternity and Neonatal Network for the PAPM Award for their outstanding collaborative work on the SRC project to safely reduce unnecessary antibiotic use in early onset neonatal sepsis. This multidisciplinary team of doctors, NNPs, midwives, nurses, managers and commissioners showed the courage and the drive necessary to move away from tradition and what they believed was the right thing for the benefit of babies and families. Starting with two regional scoping studies on scope and safety, the team embarked on a QI program that required painstaking attention to data collection and safety monitoring for nearly 55,000 births for well over a year and without any dedicated funding. It achieved a remarkable 45% reduction in antibiotic use in Wales without evidence of harm with a projected annual savings of nearly three quarter of a million pounds. This nomination is a tribute to the spirit of collaboration and improvement. I'm delighted to be able to nominate two exceptional colleagues from Singleton Neonatal Unit, ANNP Gemma Davies and Stephanie Cannell for the BAPM 2020 award. Gemma and Steph are outstanding professional who epitomize the ANNP role through their passion, skill, quality and drive, while at the same time demonstrating compassion and maturity to improve quality of care and experience of the families. They are role models for any aspiring perinatal professional for learning support and mentorship. No wonder trainees nominate them for BAPTA awards, families choose them for patient choice awards, on-call consultants display a hint of smile and relief when they see their name on the board, and midwives and nurses give a thumbs up when they report to duty. They have played a key role in many QI initiatives and research projects, including the success of antibiotic stewardship program in Singleton and across Wales through their perseverance, ability to motivate staff, painstaking data collection and analysis, remedial teaching and innovation. In my opinion, they're already winners and very worthy of this award. We thank BAPM for recognising the category of a professional who supported the perinatal team and feel that Vish truly deserves it. He was a legend. Vish was a consultant at Birmingham Women's Hospital, the South lead for the West Midlands Newborn Network, a mentor and coach for many doctors and nurses. The babies were at the centre of his vision for the neonatal services. He was a passionate teacher and taught echocardiography to many across the network and beyond. He encouraged so many of us to discover our true potential. He was the PI for many studies and several trainees and nurses presented their work in national and international meetings under his guidance. In his network role, he led and worked collaboratively with the network team and units to review and refine pathways in order to improve the overall journey of the babies and their families. 
ethical aspects of neonatal care really interested him and he spoke on it at the last reason meeting. He encouraged multidisciplinary teams for joint ways of thinking to improve services. Parent partnership was very much a part of his vision in service redesign. Vish celebrated life and every one of us simply joined in the celebration. He was a family man and a lover of food and nature. One could never tire of seeing his beautiful photographs. We have been very fortunate to have walked a part of our life and professional journey with this great man and will carry his legacy forward. It gives me great pleasure to inform you that the winner of this award is Dr. Sri Vishnu Rasaya, known as Vish, to many of us in the West Midlands and also as the boss. And we are going to be having the nominator um, on screen to, to accept the award on his behalf. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Bapam and the members on behalf of Lisa, Vish's wife, and uh, Caitlin, his daughter, uh, for recognizing Vish's contribution to perinatal care and supporting the medical, nursing, AHP, midwifery, and obstetric teams across the network. Lisa says that a nomination for him from his peers would have meant a lot to Vish. Vish is not here with us, but we are celebrating his life through our actions. He taught us to give and that one would receive more in the process. He lived and loved uh, unconditionally and we continue to take his legacy forwards. So thank you, Bapam. Thank you, Anju. Moving on to our next awards, um, we would like to move on to the award for excellence in research or innovation. We can have the video, please. Thanks. We implemented laryngeal mask airway surfactum treatment to infants over 1.2 kilograms in two centres in Glasgow just over two years ago. We like this technique because it is an easy skill to learn. The operator does not need to perform intubation or laryngoscopy. It is also very well tolerated by infants without sedation. The only premedication that we use is atropine and sucrose. This is a, a video of the smallest infant we have treated to date. He was 1.2 kilograms and 29 plus not weeks gestation. The laryngeal mask airway that we use is the eye gel. And during the procedure, we connect that to the neocuff so that the baby can remain on CPAP. We deliver the surfactant slowly to the tip of the mask while the baby is spontaneously breathing. They then convert directly back on to nasal CPAP. We have recently published the outcomes of the first 60 infants that we have treated. All infants tolerated the procedure well and there was no serious adverse effects. All infants clinically improved and 50 of, of the 60 had resolution of their respiratory symptoms and avoided intubation and mechanical ventilation. The protocol that we have designed is now being tested in a non-inferiority randomized controlled trial against LIFA in infants over 1.25 kilograms. Recruitment is soon to start in Melbourne, Australia, with Glasgow hopefully joining in the new year and other centres in due course. Thank you very much. I'm Samantha Johnson, a Professor of Child Development at the University of Leicester. My colleagues and I in the PRISM study team are delighted to receive a nomination for a BAPM award 
for our work in creating the preterm birth information for education professionals. We know from research that children born preterm are more likely than their term born peers to have difficulties in school. Yet we also know that teachers and other education professionals receive very little training about preterm birth and how to support those children that might need additional help in the classroom. We also know that parents often struggle to try and raise the subject of preterm birth with their children's teachers and to convince teachers that their child's birth history may be affecting their development and learning. And so last year we created the new preterm birth information for education professionals e-learning resource to try and raise awareness of prematurity in the education sector and give education professionals the strategies they need to better support preterm born children in the classroom. Parents overwhelmingly tell us that much more understanding of their child's needs in school is needed. And that's why the PRISM resource is so great, because it provides that training. Launching our Prime Aware Awards scheme, it is our hope and belief that families will continue to champion the resource, being a powerful parent voice behind it. And that in the not too distant future, all schools and teachers right across the UK will be Prime Aware, ready to support the learning needs and long term outcomes of our children born premature. Hi, I'm Neil Patel and I'm here with Tracy Clinton. Thank you so much for this nomination. Neonatal Video Diaries is an idea that was developed with families and staff together in our neonatal unit at our Family Integrated Care Group, which we call Helping Us Grow or HUG. With our technical partner, vCreate, we developed a secure system to send short videos to families. The impact has been beyond our wildest expectations. We make short videos, often on night shift for families, and staff can get very creative. This is what families think. When you're having a bad time, just to receive a message or a picture or a video just really keeps you going. I was in a very, very low place and then a video popped up and it was him of him moving and kicking his legs. And that just kept me going to know that he was fighting. So I needed to carry on fighting and not give up. From neonatal units, the services spread to paediatric intensive care and to adult intensive care units throughout the UK and internationally. Over 150 units now use the system. Thank you so much to everybody who's been part of this. Families, staff in all of the units, vCreate, who've helped us to support and spread the system. And of course, to our charitable partners as well. Thank you all. Hi, my name is Gorzia Pays. I'm a consultant neonatologist here at the Liverpool Women's Hospital, one of two standalone neonatal units within the UK. In March 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic meant that the shielding service started and we lost 50% of our consultant workforce in a day. There were also restrictions from visit for visiting consultants coming in from other hospitals such as Older Hay, and we used to be able to have a neonatal surgical ward round three times a week, which started to be restricted. We needed to think of a new way of working. We therefore decided to set up the telemedicine service for the neonatal units across um, Liverpool. This meant that shielding consultants at home could remotely review babies on a low dependency and older hay ward rounds, and surgeons from older hay could remotely review babies on the neonatal unit at Liverpool Women's Hospital with stomas and other surgical issues. The telemedicine cameras that were set up were specific robots that um, involved the telemedicine uh, technology and the, the precision on these cameras was just amazing. You could review stomas from quite some distance away. All of this was set up in a two week period. Things can happen really quickly if you want them to. Hi, I have to say that we were unable to separate the um, top two scoring um, entrance for this award. So we actually have two winners um, for excellence in research and innovation. So I'm gonna call up the first of those. So the first of these is Dr. Neil Patel and the Hub Group. Just bear with us while they are obtaining Neil.
Oh, Neil. Hi there, how are you doing? Hi. Thank you very much. It's it's an absolute pleasure to be here and representing our whole team, the, the hub team within our unit, and really humbling uh, to be the recipients of this, the co-recipients alongside uh, all the other fantastic projects. So thank you so much uh, on our behalf and thank you to um, the, whoever nominated us as well. Thank you. Very welcome. Thank you very much, Neil. Um, so the other winner in this category um, goes to the PRISM team. Hi, hello. Um, Hi. Hello. I'm really surprised. So thank you very much. So that's um, it's really, really nice on behalf of the, the whole team um, really to, to be recognised for this. It's been quite um, a, a big, a big job. Um, and everyone will be delighted. And it's just good to know that we're able to try and start improving things for families. Thank you. You're very welcome, very well deserved. And congratulations to all the winners so far. And I need to hand now back over to Sarah Bates. Thanks, Wendy. So the next category, and it was really lovely to hear from Val and Jessica and Natasha earlier how much this would have meant to Gopi, is the Making a Difference for Families Award I think it's really interesting to see that in all the categories, this is clearly a big focus for everybody at the moment. Um, so let's see the video for the shortlisted nominees in this category. Welcome to BHRUT NICO unit. Because of this pandemic, the, our visiting has been restricted and it has been changed over time. But at the moment, both parents can come and visit from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. But mom can visit any time to come and breastfeed their babies. I love the baby diary um, because it's really helped us um, capture babies' uh, milestones and their progress whilst they've been in the NICU. Um, especially during the COVID pandemic where we've had to restrict our visiting um, and we can send the parents photos and I think it really helps with um, parental anxiety. So in what's been quite difficult circumstances for my wife and I, the care and attention from the staff here has made things really, really easy for us. Um, so we regularly get updates, we regularly get information and it allows us to be a lot more comfortable about the situation that we're in and has allowed us really the space to let them do their jobs, which they've done excellently, and to let us sort of watch baby grow. I've been supporting mums by contacting them through telephone, texting, virtual links, uh, emails. Uh, the response I've had from mums is they've been absolutely wonderful. They've thanked me, grateful for that continued support. I am tasked with the responsibility to explore creative ways to ensure training is delivered effectively and staff are kept motivated. In essence, this will improve patient care. I have a really good team and the teamwork and the spirit of the team is kept going when we had a COVID-19 time and uh, staff's attendance was quite good as well. They were, nobody was off sick and we really managed quite well. Having babies on the neonatal unit during the pandemic has been particularly hard for the parents. We are pleased that our improvisation to help support the families during this difficult time worked. We actually saw a rise in the breast milk use and breastfeeding rate. In the Integrated Family Delivered Care Project, parents become primary caregivers to their baby. We achieve this through a competency-based parent education programme. This project and the mobile application were created with lots of thought, care and effort by our team and veteran parents to support you on your journey. having a premature child come to this world is a really difficult thing because you can't 
do all the things you imagined from day one. Um, you don't have that physical contact with your child. Uh, so our baby Neve, you know, seeing her in the incubator with all the uh, clinical machines and everything going off around her is quite a difficult thing uh, because in essence you feel quite powerless as, as parents. And this is where the project's been amazing. I think through the app where we can uh, be better informed. So while we're sitting there, we can actually understand the equipment, understand what the, the amazing staff are doing. Uh, but really, it's about the engagement. So it's what the doctors and the psychologists are all doing um, in supporting us and, and making us feel part of the process. And it's, it's really helped us feel like parents um, rather than spectators at the side. In the Integrated Family Delivered Care Project, we are bringing parents in to become part of the neonatal care team, where they are the primary caregivers to their baby. The first of its kind in the country, Lincolnshire's Neonatal Voices was created in January 2019. This followed listening clinics that had taken place in children's centres across Lincolnshire in 2018. Listening to families who had experienced neonatal care paved the way for the development of the neonatal voice. The voice has evolved and is now at the heart of Lincolnshire's maternity and neonatal transformation programme. The group have initiated parent support groups across Lincolnshire for neonatal families in collaboration with Health Visiting, Perinatal Mental Health and the Early Years team. And also connecting with families through social media, through online support groups and through interview with local radio station. The group have also provided parent representation to the Royal College of Paediatrics and Child Health, working alongside NNAP and listening, signposting and empowering families, helping families get the best care and support throughout their neonatal journey. Claire Gartland and Sue Jarvis work tirelessly and passionately and thoroughly deserve the award that they've been nominated for. Hi, my name is Prue Washlap and I've worked as a family resource nurse in Monash Newborn for the past 20 years. Over that time, I've witnessed the enormous benefits of babies who receive skin-to-skin -skin contact with their mum or their dad. Since moving to the Monash Children's Hospital two and a half years ago, we've been able to extend that time that the, that the baby can spend out on mum's or dad's bare chest as we now have a recliner chair available at every bedside. That is really exciting for us here in Monash. My name is Arvind Sigal. I'm a neonatal consultant and also the clinical lead for the parent support group. This is a 64-bedded busy perinatal unit uh, where we look after small premature babies as well as those with surgical issues. I work together with a wonderful nursing team and trying to get the best experience for the entire family is uh, at the front and center of all we do. All the research we perform is really dedicated to improving the outcomes of premature babies. Um, the involvement that uh, the staff encourage is, is so important. I, I'm loving the opportunity with cuddles and care and getting to do all those things with her. Um, but I would strongly recommend it. Wow, incredibly powerful um, videos and it's been really uh, impressive to see how the, the lengths that uh, teams across the UK and internationally have been going to to support families through this COVID pandemic 
it's uh, inspiring it really is and it's been wonderful watching these videos and to hear the views of Gopi's family they've said that he would have absolutely loved watching these videos so um, it gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner in this category, although it's very hard to choose, um, is Annika Dell and the team from Imperial. Annika, while we see, uh, get Annika and her team up, Annika and I have been working together on the Maternal Breast Milk Toolkit. It's been an absolute pleasure to work alongside her and a privilege to be able to announce that she's the recipient of the award. So over to you, Annika. Hello, we are, we are here socially distanced appropriately and thank you so much for this record. So much to us. So and I will say the quality group. Uh, we join us in the family integrated care journey with your unit and we're also inviting units now to join our mobile app next year. Thank you so much for this award and hope you all well. Take care. <laughs> Echo, lovely to hear from you. So the final two categories are about outstanding contribution by a trainee and a nurse, and I'll hand you over to Wendy to uh, lead the trainee award. Oh, hello again. So these particular awards are to recognise actually contributions by a trainee or, um, and then a nurse for to Bapham's work programme, so specifically for assisting in the work of the British Association of Perinatal Medicine. Um, and the first award is for an outstanding contribution by a trainee, and that goes to Lauren Shaw. And we now have a video to share with you from Julie Clare to tell us what Lauren has contributed to Batham in the last year. So on behalf of the Batham Equality Group, uh, we'd like to nominate Lauren Shaw as a trainee who's shown outstanding contribution to the work of the BAPM. Since 2018, Lauren has been a member of the Quality Steering Group, the Quality Webpage Group and two Quality Toolkit Groups. And the Collaborative describes her as brilliant, focused and committed. She attends meetings often in her own time. She goes above and beyond what's expected of her and other members of the groups. She offers her opinion as well as the training view and she actively contributes to in a significant way to group work. Within the normothermy and antenatal optimization toolkits this has included leading in collating the evidence base and in the collation of the QI implementation reviews, in developing a series of QI tools and general formatting review and referencing of documents. You'll have seen in your infant journal in the last month that Lauren has also uh, written the publication for the Antenatal Optimization Toolkit. Throughout all of her contributions to the BAPM, Lauren is wholly self-effacing and she'd be the first to feel someone else is more deserving of this award than her. She's got a really humble collaborative style and she's motivated by a desire to make a difference and not by any personal ambition. And for the, these reasons, we felt she was a fantastic example of so many of the values that Gopi Menon himself embodied. Oh, what a, what a lovely video. So congratulations, Lauren, and thank you so much for all the work that you've done this year. Thank you. I'm absolutely over the, mean, uh, over the moon. I feel so privileged to have been allowed to work with BAPM and, and thank you to Julie Clare and all the team for, for giving me that opportunity. I had the privilege to work with and be trained by Gopi, so it means so much more that it's a, an award in his name. So thank you, everybody. Thank you. We look forward to working with you a lot more in the future. So I now need to hand back to Sarah Bates. Getting quite practised at this double act now. Um, so the final award is Outstanding mm -hmm. Contribution to BAPM by a nurse, ANNP, midwife or allied health professionals. And this award goes to Kelly Harvey. I've had the privilege of working with Kelly on the Maternal Breast Milk Toolkit this year. She's fantastic. But uh, here is Julie Clare to tell us about Kelly's work this year. Over the last three years, uh, Kelly Harvey has brought the Nina to Nurses Wise to the college conversation at the BAPM, representing her colleagues' views with a wide experience both in clinical practice and in quality improvement. 
Kelly is a key member of the Bath and Quality Collaborative Group, whose role it is to develop the quality strategy. And latterly, she's been involved in uh, three groups whose remit it has been to, re to build practical toolkits to support frontline clinicians in improving care for preterm babies. And these toolkits contain multiple examples of our individual input, including bespoke driver diagrams, fishbone diagrams, and other QI tools. A valuable aspect of her input is her strong working relationship with the Northwest ODM parent group, from whom she's been able to gather important parental experience. Kelly has also recently co-authored a new framework for practice for therapeutic hypothermia, and her nursing input has improved both the relevance and the scope of this document. Kelly is always really enthusiastic in her support of Batham activities, but she's never afraid to pose a counter view for the benefit of families, for nurses or the wider Batham membership. She's highly professional in her support of other team members, whom it is clear she values and encourages. And she's extremely resourceful with a positive can-do attitude, which is characteristic of the neonatal nursing voice, and without which the BAPM would be much less productive and relevant. Thanks, uh, Julie Claire. So I don't think we've been able to get Kelly on screen today. So um, having worked with her recently on the most uh, on the most recent toolkit, I'm happy to accept this award on her behalf. She's been a fantastic colleague to work with, and I'd like to hand you over to Wendy for our closing remarks. What a great award ceremony! Hello there. What an amazing amazing privilege it's been to be part of the awards. Um, I want to thank, thank particularly Val, Natasha and Jessica, Gopi's family for being with us today. Um, it's made it even more special than it would have been. And we're extremely grateful for their support. Clearly my double act Sarah has been uh, very entertaining and that's been great. Um, I want to thank all the people that have made the nominations because without you nominating, we wouldn't have any awards to present. I want to thank the award judges. We've had quite a lot of volunteers from the BAPM membership this year to be able to provide um, um, a, a wide ranging group of people to be able to score the awards. And of course, to you all for actually delivering the improvements in care so that these can actually translate into better outcomes for babies and their families. Um, I have to finish now, finish our amazing meeting. I just want to thank you for all for coming to our um, online meeting. We've got some people on the screen, so that's great with me. I don't feel so alone now <laughs> at the end of the of the two days. Um, so it is, we want to thank you for joining us and for making our first online meeting success. And we were saying in the backstage chat that we thought Gopi would be really excited by the fact we'd run an online meeting because he was uh, the first of all of us to ever make us have uh, a, a EC meetings online as well as traveling down to London. Um, we don't know what our meeting will look like next year, whether this will be online, hybrid or in person um, at the moment because things are so uncertain. Um, but we can promise you that we'll bring you some more fantastic content in 2021. Um, I have to just say a special thanks to Kate and Marcus in the Batham office and CFS events because they have done an amazing amount of work in the background um, to make to make this to make this happen. Um, I said all my other thanks earlier on today. I'm just checking um, through on my my chats, my Batham officers chats that I have to make sure that I'm saying all the right things. But I think all I, all it is left for me to say to all of you is a great big thanks and to have a Merry Christmas and please let us all have a Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.